specialist, Art Lapper, tells us that if we instituted an effective school choice program, we would benefit not only we would increase graduation rates, retention rates, and boost the Texas economy by as much as five hundred million dollars over ten years. Five hundred billion. Uh, the Texas Public Policy Foundation uh, report. Would you support a school choice system for the state of Texas? And let's see. We'll start with Mr. Weisman. Absolutely not. Um, and here's the reason. I just explained to you earlier that in East Texas, we're, we're, our schools are strong. And our communities revolve around those ISDs. I talked to Dr. Ken Pierce with the Equity Center, and we talked about charter schools. And you can call it whatever you want to. You can call it vouchers, you can call it tax credits, you can call it whatever you want to. But I've talked to, I've talked to uh, Dr. Ken Pierce with the uh, uh, equity center and we talked about charter schools at length whenever someone can prove to me that there is a charter school out there that that is operating or a, the, the whole process if the charter schools can operate and at a level that our average public public school district is uh, operating at now then I'll listen but until then they're only producing Right now, charter schools, the charter schools that are out there are only um, producing 11% college readiness. Charter schools don't do ag. Charter schools don't do band. Charter schools don't do uh, CTE programs, uh, career technology programs. And we know that every kid's not gonna go to college. We've gotta teach them to weld. We've gotta teach them to do electri uh, be electricians. We've gotta teach them to do a lot of different things because not every child is going to college. I know that there's a big push for every child to go to college. They're not, they're just not gonna do it. So if we, can, if we can teach those kids, even certification classes, even if we can get those uh, uh, vet techs, uh, dental assistants, all of those people can be certified right out of high school now. They can leave high school and go to work and make, and, and make very good money right out of high school. Charter schools don't do that. And, and, and the other thing about it is if they, if they receive public money, they need, to, they need to adhere to the same standards that public schools do. Okay? And at, at this time, I'm also going to disagree on, uh, on school choice, and I'll tell you why. We, we talk a lot about how competition breeds excellence, and that's a lot of the theory behind school choice. Uh, and I think there's some great arguments on that side. But true competition only takes place when it happens on an even playing field. And you have to remember that our public schools are held to a lot of what I talk about unfunded mandates on them, uh, a lot of ridiculous mandates coming out of Austin. But they're also obligated to provide a quality education to our students. They are obligated by the state, and the state has standards, because every child has a right to a quality education, and the state has to be able to measure that somehow. Uh, enabling school choice takes the focus off of our public schools, uh, and enables that public money, which is raised to provide a quality education, to go beyond the quality control of the state. Uh, and then you have schools competing that are on a completely different playing ground, that don't have any of the same shackles that our public schools do, against our public schools, which are still trying to fulfill their ultimate mandate to provide a quality education to our children. Uh, the focus, first and foremost in Texas, has to be on public education, our public schools. Uh, my dad's a bus driver, for example. Uh, he's retired now, drives a bus, uh, and there's a lot of kids on that route, kids who would be in single-parent homes, who, if they live out in East Texas, they live out somewhere in Wood County, where's the nearest private school to them? Is their parent going to have to take time off work to take them there, pick them up in the middle of the day? A lot of students don't have that opportunity, even if the money was there, simply because their circumstances are different. And at the state, what we say is no matter what kind of environment you're being brought up in, you have the right to a quality education because you have the right to improve your future if you want to. And if you want to take advantage of the opportunities that we're going to put in front of you, you can achieve anything. That is what has to be our mindset on public education, which is why unless school choice attaches a lot of mandates to the money that would follow the student, that would eventually make the private schools just a subset of the state public schools, or we eliminate a lot of the requirements on our public schools, return to a mindset of local control, school choice is not right for Texas right now.
Okay, I'll probably be the only one that's different here. I believe in school choice, I believe in vouchers, and I have a lot of friends that are teachers. They hang their head and look at me and go, why? One size does not fit all. Where I live in Range County, it's an excellent school system. I don't even know if there's a charter school out there or not. There would be no reason for any of the kids to leave and go to a charter school. I've also seen schools in inner cities, like in Houston and Dallas, where if I was a parent there, I've seen the type of education and what goes on there. I'd want a voucher to be able to get my kid out of that school. So it's not one size fits all. You've got to look at it across the board. Yes, East Texas doesn't have the act. We don't, we don't have all these charter schools out here. One of the charter schools I can think of is Dion Sanders. That was an athletic community. That's all that was. There was no education there. That was wrong. So there needs to be rules. There needs to be standards. And if we're going to say, yes, you're going to go to a private school, a religious school, or whatnot, it has to meet the same standards as set forth in Texas to graduate out of high school. If not, then that school is decertified and they don't go there. But if it meets the same standards and you get your kid out of a school that's not performing well, then I'm all for it. God gave me six, hold your ears, kids, six wonderful kids. Uh, so me and my wife for six kids. I'm sorry, it is not the state's responsibility to educate my kids and to raise my kids. God gave that responsibility to me and my wife. Now, if we choose to transfer that responsibility to a private school or to a public school, we should have that choice. I hear a lot of people talk about public money should not go into private schools. Whose money is that? Right. Anybody want to answer that? It's not the government's money. It's your money, Bob. It's your money, Tim. It's your money, Daniel. It's not the government's money. It's our money first. And we send that to the government to provide us with the essential services. I believe that competition works. Competition in the free market system is what's made this country what it is. The freedom to fail and the freedom to succeed. And so I believe in the concept of school choice, uh, how that would work in East Texas, we need to it require some research. Because our schools in East Texas are good. The schools in House District 5 are doing great. I don't think many kids would leave because the, kid, the schools are as good as they are. But let's remember whose money that is and whose responsibility our kids are that God gives us.